welcome to Thumbs Toy Review. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to show you how to create a classroom for your American Girl doll using items that you would typically find at the dollar store or dollar tree. So the first tree. thing we found was this, um, we found this at Target in the little knick-knack aisle. Um, you can also get this at the Dollar Tree, again, dollar store for a dollar. It's a little white erase board and we just attach some little magnets you can get um, from the dollar store. And this is going to be our American Girl doll chalkboard. And we will show the you next item we found up. was this little stamp set. It was again at the dollar store or dollar tree I should say. And this was in the school supply aisle. And they're actually stamps but we're going to use them to decorate our our classroom for the next thing we found are these little word strips at the Dollar Tree in the school supply aisle and it has 30 and they're little strips um, different colors we that blue orange yellow pink and we're going to show you how we create a border in the classroom with the alphabet and we found this cute little lunch box this was at Target, whole neck neck section. It was three dollars, but I have seen them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. We're just going to use this as the lunch box for the dolls. And the next thing we found, again, a dollar. This was at Target uh, in the little neck neck section. It's just a little notepad. It may not be perfectly scaled, but we're going to use it to put in the classroom on. The desk of Grace or the other dolls and that way she has something to write on. And the last thing we found were these little itty bitty miniature pens. They're maybe a little bit bigger than a doll would use but we thought they were cute and it would go well with the little notepad on the desk for the doll. The last thing we did is we bought some blue colored poster paper, poster board. It's the thin stuff. It's 69 cents at the Dollar Tree um, and we attached it to some heavy duty cardboard, use what you have. If you have um, wrapping paper, you can use that. If you have paint, you can use that. Just the point here is to use what you have to create a little room for your doll. We're gonna transfer this up to our doll house, which of course we made ourselves, but this is a good background um, for the classroom. So here's our finished border on our classroom wall. And we just, um, of course, our spacing isn't perfect, but you know it doesn't have to be. We went ahead and pencil, drew them, drew them in with pencil first, and then we just kind of went back with marker and wrote over it. Of course, we scrunched it together towards the end, didn't we, Kai? Yeah. And then we had some extra room, so we just did one, two, three, four, five. So that's what our classroom wall looks like with our border up. There's Grace in her new classroom. She has all of her little supplies. And we put an extra stamp there for her in her little lunch box. And then we just added, what we did is we added our whiteboard with, we just hot glue gun the magnets onto the poster board that's attached to the cardboard. And then we just attach the, we can move the, take the board off and Grace can use it to write. And we just added these little steps up here. Yeah. And we're going to get some little cubbies and make little things for, you know, a hook for Grace and her the stu other students to hang their, their hats and their backpacks. Coats. Yep, and coats. But that's it. Now we're going to move this on up to our dollhouse and... Be ready to play.